Welcome back, and today we're going to do my Blade Show Atlanta 2023 haul. First up, these are not knives, of course, but I stopped by the Knife Pivot Lube booth, and they have a new product out. What this is is a dry film. It's a fluorinated grease that, you know, that's the base of it. That's the same stuff that's in a CRK, that the CRK grease, Chris Reeves grease. And this has no residue once it dries. It dissipates, uh, you know, whenever it's out in the oxygen. And yeah, I thought it'd be interesting. So I'm going to try it out on, uh, you know, a few different knives. Probably, I think it would probably work good on like Teflon knives or anything that you wouldn't want to get uh, dirt and debris. Also... I bumped into Stanford Owen from Monterey Bay Knives, and uh, yeah, I picked this up. They didn't have a booth, but he had some a few things with him. And this is a totally USA-made driver that they offer. Um, I will uh, link it down below. It's a nice, nice heft to it because this is solid brass. Very, very well done. I love the uh, texturing on there, the pattern, because it does offer some grip. And I like the thicker barrel. Uh, nice. You got the Monterey Bay Knives logo right there. And you have some Swiss speed bearings on here. So nice and fast spin. Uh, no particular order. First, I stopped by the American Blade Works booth uh, just to see what they had. And I just had to get this one. This is uh, a Model 1 with an Altum scale. And I got the Altum scale just because I wanted to check out how Altum was. It has this little micro milling there. And um, I wanted to, you know, you could see how that liner lock is engaging and stuff like that. Totally made in the U.S. This is like a uh, mid-tech. He does all the fitment and stuff. And he's a one-man one man band. And this thing comes thwacking out. And this is the new Model 1 Warncliffe. Y'all probably saw the Model 2 Warncliffe on the channel. That one has a similar blade and a titanium, uh, double titanium scales with a liner lock. Next up, we have one of my favorite designers, Les George, and this is the VSEP button lock. Yeah, this thing has beautiful action, and I was really shocked to find this is on Fosperon's washers, and it's getting smoother and smoother every day, and not to mention uh, as well, you have a steel upgrade, also magna cut i got so much magna cut now but i don't mind it especially if it's heat treated you know from 63 64 that's an optimal level um i don't know what he has is that i'll have to message him and find out but i love the vsep first knife i bought when i got to the show i buy one every year if i can that is another strider pt um I have one with this same orange peel and a uh, color that I got from the Las Vegas Custom Knife Show. And if you don't know, the, the PT is kind of sentimental to me, and I, I like the overall design as well. This is the smaller of the Strider, um, the same, you know, they got the PT, SNG, and the uh, SMF. This is the smallest of the three. And this one's a little bit different, is the first... Tanto blade that I've seen in the PT or the newer line of PTs. Um, they had a few of these, and uh, I'm not usually a Tanto fan, but I was definitely excited to get something different. You know, <laughs> last year I got just a stone wash drop point, I mean, the spear point version or whatever they called them, that blade shape. And it was the first one I'd seen in 154CM like this one is right here. All my other ones are in S30V. They just swapped to 154, I think, last year, uh, which I like 154CM. Excellent steel, especially on a smaller knife like this. Next up, I went to the EMP EDC booth and I had to. Had to buy a relative. I, I, don't, I can't believe I waited this long. I think the only reason I waited this long is because uh, the blade shape I like is, is very similar to the Nimble X. But... This particular one is a dual ground. You have a flat up here that, you know, is pretty slicey as well. And this hollow is nice and thin. Very nice. The relatives are made by OEM by Best Tech. And the Nimble X's, I think, are Kubi. Yeah, pretty sure they're Kubi. Love that milling. And I love that 
that bright anno gold on there with the black tie it looks really nice he had one in magna cut there's a clip point and i prefer this uh drop point spear point whatever you want to call it blade shape i, I just it it's just what i'm am interested in that right now uh, beautiful jumping up here and this particular one is in l max steel as you see right there he had two in magna cut uh, but I have enough magnet cut. I like L Max a lot as well. Beautiful reverse flicker, uh, beautiful front flipper, and you can choke all the way up on it. Love it. Probably my most carried since Blade Show. I I love it, and uh, that is the this brand new Shirogorov uh, model 95. Uh, is it T? Yeah, my 95 T N L. I think for inlay. And this one jumped out at me because it has this blue and white micarta. I forgot what it's called. It looks like brains <laughs> or a maze pattern. Um, and it's on both sides. And that made me really pull the trigger. But then I flipped it. And this thing has rocket action. Super comfortable. I, I have two of the, I have the Neon and the Neon Zero. And that's a smaller one. So I wanted to check out one of the, the larger ones. Um, I've handled them before. But this is my first one that I bought. And the action, of course, is stellar. This was an unexpected purchase. <laughs> and we'll quickly talk about it. But I got me another NCC Knives and Rob Carter BBM. This time I went with the thumb stud. My other one is a blade hole. And this one has contoured scales. Um, I love that diamond texture on those scales. They look so, so classy. I don't know what finish he put on there. And I like the contrast with the black hardware love his pivots this one has a little bit darker stone washed blade and um, it has that blackened tie clip on that and super cool a buddy of mine mentioned to him that my other bbm ha had issues with the clip and i wasn't carrying it because of it brought it over to him he he bent the clip back and fixed it there but he said you know it could possibly happen again so he's making me a titanium clip to swap it out with just so I can, you know, I don't want it to fall out my pocket. And Nick Chuprin, super nice guy. And he has a brand new model out that I, oh, I wanted to buy so bad, but I was already at my limit. Didn't expect to buy this one as well, but I said, why not? The new Microtech MSI and I'm not an orange fan. I might eventually dye these black or something. I'm not sure. Or I might just leave them. Who cares? Uh, this particular one has a little frag right here. The other ones were just, you know, flat scales. I mean, not flat, but they didn't have any uh, milling pattern on them. And I don't know if the green ones did either. Uh, I handled several of them. This one had the best action. Uh, I couldn't reverse flick the other ones, but this one is nice and smooth. It was the show, the, the show model that was out for display. I didn't really care. I checked the edge. There was no problems with the edge. And uh, yeah, it got nice and broke in. So this is the Orno Bernard I Mamba. It's very reminiscent of a Chris Reef Sabenza, in my opinion. It's got like that same new inlay style that uh, CRK is doing. I like the blind screwed pocket clip, about the same price as a Sabenza. And he's also a South African maker, uh, just like Chris Reef from South Africa. Beautiful snappy action, and I'm not a huge fan of the you know high, you know high satin almost mirror polished blade. Uh, I'll probably eventually maybe stone wash it. Um, nice beautiful crown spine, just like a CRK spins it. Now of course I think it looks uh, different enough. You know this blade's a lot different looking. Uh, I I prefer this than the drop point on a Sabenza because it's got a lower tip. It's going to be better at, you know, more things. Jack of all trade type of knife. Nice jumping up there. And you also have these fullers on both sides, like a little window that oh, that you can uh, easily reverse flick it because it is kind of sharp at the top, not in a bad way. And it's nice and smooth. It's on bearings. It's breaking in nicely. Uh, flipper. You can also, you can order these on a the site right now. Um, they, they're doing another run here soon. It says when they should be in and you can get, you can also order it without the flipper tab. It's a much cleaner look. I just prefer multi-deploying, uh, knives if I can. This is a new one from, uh, Giant Mouse and their Ace line. This is the Rio. I'm pretty sure it is. 
and I like this thing a lot. This I got the one with the blue denim micarta. It's uh, got a nice slight contour on the scales, and I asked them because I, I was always curious. Their micarta always has a little bit different look, and it has a lot more grippiness to it. And uh, I asked them, I said, do y'all sandblast this? And that, that's what they do. That's why it has, you know, it opens up, you know, more of that uh, canvas or whatever material they're going to have underneath it. Got a beautiful crown spine on this one. This was a nice sleek design. Wire pocket clip that's tip up left or right hand carry. This particular one with the blue uh, denim has the uh, mill titanium backspacer instead of a brass. Uh... Nice reverse flick action, beautiful drop point with a full flight grind, and this one's in CPM Magna Cut. It's it's not. I think they have it like 62 Rockwell, which I would have much rather see it at 60, 63, 64. But you know, I don't know what the price tags going to be on these, or if they're available yet. But I still like the knife a lot. This is the Wii uh, Roxy Three, and a lot of people liked it. Some people like it but couldn't afford it. And I think I have a you know similar budget option from Beyond EDC. I got this one at Blade. Um, this one has a nice flipper tab, and you have dual fullers with the blade hole. This one is in 14C 28 inch steel, and this is also a Todd knife and tool design. There you go. If you go butt to butt, it's a it's it's smaller than the Roxy Three, which the Roxy Three is a small folder. You have about the same. About close to the same cutting edge, almost, it could be identical, I can't, it's hard for me to look, you know, down. Um, you know, choke back, it's like a three finger grip, but you can choke up on this one. The way they did that, I like that. Uh, the, all their knives have beautiful action. This thing's broken in so nice, you can reverse flick it. I stopped by the bag knives booth <coughs> and bought uh, one of the mini glimpse. Uh, and talk about impressed with this knife. I wanted this one because I own a custom uh, Glimpse fixed blade that I got from, I think, my first blade show back in 2017. And I always just thought this was such a beautiful, beautiful fixed blade. It looks just like the actual folder. They even put like a pivot like they would there and the screws like they would on a regular folder. You have the uh, cracked ice finish all around all the edges, even down here as well. And a cool little pocket slip that it came with. Got the the folder version. This is a more affordable. I think it was like 80 bucks. Uh, D2 steel, which I don't really mind at that price point for this one. You got very well done. The smooth uh, G10. Only thing I don't like about it is pocket clip. It, it, it feels like it might become a hot spot, but we'll see. I'm going to do some testing on this one and review it. Uh, it's got nice snappy action. And they also are going to offer it without the fuller if you don't like the fuller. And they also will be doing a full flat ground blade one and not no, ain't no swedge right there. That looked rather interesting as well. And last is just a gift from Concept. And that is a model I didn't have before. This is the Concept, I think, tack uh, button lock. And it has like a titanium Damascus inlay on it. Um, nice action. S35 V in steel. Full flat ground, Mikkel, Mikkel Williamson design. That was EDC tack. That, that's all my scores for Blade Show 2023, at least all my folders. If there's a particular folder in this lineup uh, that you want me to review, I will be reviewing the Rio. Uh, that one will probably be the first one. If you want <clears throat> me to review a certain folder, just let me know down in the comments. Like I said, stay tuned for my EDC fixed blades because... I found some new some new makers and some really cool ones. Definitely stay tuned for that. It, it, it's either going to be you know tomorrow or in the next uh, couple of days. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.